What is up guys, Reese here, and today I'm going to be showing you my tips on becoming better at Fortnite. Now, in today's video there are going to be about 5 or 6 tips on how to be better at Fortnite. And starting off with the first one is building. This doesn't really matter whether you're an advanced player or you're just quite new to the game. Building is always essential for winning games really. And Unless you're very good, you don't have to build, but it certainly helps if you can build. Um, next up, we have snipers and shotguns. These are probably two of the best weapons that you need. Because um, if you're coming into a one-on-one, -on -one, unless you've got a gold scar or something, you're not really going to be able to take out people too well. But with a shotgun, you can take them out really easily with one hit, and with a sniper the same, but just out at long range and a shotgun at short range. Next up we have medkits and bandages. Um, these are pretty essential just in case you get stuck in a storm or you get shot. Um, obviously you're going to be able and have a higher chance of winning a battle, which is pretty useful if you ever need one. But yeah, so you want those really in your taskbar, so you can just use them whenever you need to. But, on to like the fourth point now, it's tactically playing and attacking and defending. So you want, this game's very tactical, like I said in the first point, building is a tactical solution, um, and you just want to be aware of everyone near you, and try and attack tactically of course, so you can win or get the kill. And next one is headshots. Now, if you are as good at sniping or you're just in a 1v1 situation, if you do get that sort of shot, then it will take up a lot more damage than the other shots and is gonna get you the kill quicker. Which, I'm pretty sure everyone knows this, but if you don't, then that's an easy way to get kills quicker. And um, so, on to my final point now, is the storm. So, this doesn't really matter whether you're just at the beginning of the game or right at the end of the game. If you time the storm wrong, it can kill you pretty easily. And in the final third of the game, the storm will of course take away like 30 to 40 damage each time. So you don't want to get caught in that, be aware of the storm when it comes near you and try not to get stuck in it if you don't have any bandages. So I just have one more point, but apart from that, this is my final point. Watch out for bushes because it's really annoying when you're in like the top 10, top 3 and someone jumps out of a bush and kills you. So what I do is, if I'm in the top 5, I just shoot at every bush, see if there's anyone inside it, and in that case, you'll know that there's no one hiding in bushes, and also take out like all of the trees, all of the rocks, anything that people could be hiding under. But apart from that, here's some gameplay for you to watch, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. So if you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and if you want to see something in particular, then leave it in the comment section below, and that's all from me, peace.